thank you for joining me today. My name is Mallory and I am a physician of oriental medicine, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the second fundamental winter practice. If you have yet to watch the first fundamental winter practice, I encourage you to check that video out as well. And there's a link to that below. As a reminder, for those of you that are joining me for the second time, and for those of you that are new, according to Chinese medicine, winter is the time to move inward and really give yourself a break from all the hustle and bustle, to nourish yourself with really good foods, and to just simply slow down. You can also reflect on the year that just was, as well as look forward to the coming year. These winter practices were specifically chosen to help you through that winter process, to help you nourish and refuel your vital energy, to really allow you to bring some awareness to your body and see how you relate to it through these practices and see how it responds to the practices as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The second fundamental winter practice is to avoid cold and raw foods. Oh, did you just drop your jaw or maybe you nodded in agreement? Either way, hear me out. We are meant to live in balance with the season, in accordance with those seasons. So go ahead and take yourself to the peak of summertime. You're maybe sitting out back with friends, family, you're feeling the warmth of the sun, you are potentially motivated to exercise more, to socialize more, to just be out and about. You're also probably staying up later, maybe even rising earlier, and really embodying the heat of the sun, maybe even feeling a little bit more creative as well. Your digestion is responding, your digestive system is responding to the heat and the warmth of the summer, just as the rest of your physical body and your mind are too. And what I mean by this is your digestive system is receiving the energy, receiving fuel from the sun to help spark its flame. It's like a rigorous fire that's roaring deep inside of you. So when you consume cold and raw foods in the summertime, your strong digestive system has the fuel and resources to break down that cold and raw food to then give your body the proper nutrients. As we move from late summer into autumn and then into winter, your digestive system and that fire are slowly going to burn down into a smaller flame. So when we're in the summertime and if we're striving to live in balance with the season, our digestive, our digestive system is relying on us to give it that extra energy and fuel that it's no longer receiving from the warmth of the sun and the heat of the summer. There are ways that you can do this and that includes how you cook your food. So using crock pots, baking for long periods of time, and even a slow simmer on the stovetop are perfect ways to warm up your food, break down that hard outer shell of those raw cold foods. And then when consumed, because that fire isn't as well fueled, 
you're already starting the digestive digestive process for your system. So it allows your body to use the food and to break it down more efficiently because it doesn't have to work as hard. I also encourage you to incorporate warming spices. One of my favorite is ginger. You can put ginger on your food when you're cooking. You can drink ginger tea. You can always drink ginger tea with lemon. Um, I also like the spices of cayenne and cardamom and cumin and peppercorn to really warm up my foods, which then in turn is going to add fuel to my digestive fire and help my body to further break down those foods. I also really like hearty soups that are going to be, of course, very warming. Um, I like grains in the wintertime as well as nuts and, of course, land animals in moderation. These practices, this specific practice, is based off of Chinese medicine. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about specific foods to eat for the winter season, I've created a free food guide specific to winter for you, and you can download that below. If you have questions about this process or something just isn't clear, feel free to comment below or send me an email. Check out the website as there is also a article about eating cold and raw foods during the winter season. I do want to mention, as I did before, to really pay attention to your body when you're eating these foods. Oftentimes after we consume cold and raw foods, we may feel cold, we may feel tired, lethargic, bloated, gassy, just having a hard time moving through our environment because our digestive system is really slowly breaking down that food because it simply doesn't have the energy to break them down like we do in the summertime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like button, share with your friends, comment below, and please subscribe so that you will get notification on the second and or third and fourth videos coming up for the fundamental winter practice. Again, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.